Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, so the first step I want to do is check the spark plugs, see if they look serviceable, and check, make sure it's getting spark. So, you want to find the spark plugs. Normally it has a cover covering it, either a whole engine cover or a cover like this. So I'm going to pull that cover. I'm going to check spark plug number one and two. There's a couple different ways to see if the spark plug is firing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the fuel injector for that cylinder so that fuel's not spraying in there. And I'm going to start the motor and come out here and look at the tip of the spark plug to see if it's throwing an arc in that plug. Now you could check the gap with the gap gauge, make sure the gap is proper. You could brush and dry the spark plug off so that it fires better. But that's how I'm going to see if this spark plug is sparking. Now you don't want to start the motor with the spark plug out and have fuel spraying in that cylinder because fuel will spray out and you'll start a fire. If you have a coil pack that connects your spark plug, you can do the test the same way. Unbolt the coil pack from the motor, leave the spark plug in it, start the car with no fuel on that cylinder, and see if that spark is jumping. If you're checking spark because your car is not starting, you'll probably have to have somebody crank the motor while you come out here and look at the spark plug. Another thing that uh, some people do is get some kind of spark plug signal tester which is like a test light that plugs in to the end of the spark plug wire or coil while they crank it and look for that uh, tester to flash okay i disconnected the fuel injector for that cylinder i have the spark plug laying across the motor i'm gonna start it and see if a uh, spark jumps in that plug okay i can see the spark jumping on that spark plug so I know the spark plug is firing. Okay, since I got spark, I know that my ignition system is likely good and I either have a fuel problem or more than likely a compression problem. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.